Hey y'all, it's Michael, and the first short story collection that I'm going to be reading for 2020 is A Taste of Honey by Jabari Asim. Um, I don't really know what this is about. Uh, I think it's going to be about family because there are family photos right here in the front, as you can tell. So like, you see? So that's what I'm assuming it's about. Um, what I'll do is after each and every single short story, I'll let y'all know what I think about it. And then at the end, I'll do my overall thoughts. Um, I think I'm going to bunch up some of the clips together because um there's several in here um so i'm just gonna bunch them up let's talk about the first short story it's called i'd rather go blind now this is actually um uh, pretty good especially as the first short story i think it establishes um a lot so this is about uh crispus and he's talking about basically his family in the beginning and then the town that he lives in and the people um around the town it's, it's like a small town type of story and I really enjoy it. The writing is, something about it feels very, um, like, homey, if that makes any sense. Like, it just feels like it's, it's home. The next one is called Something Like God. This connects, um, literally right after I'd Rather Go Blind. And, like, when I tell you it connects, I mean, it's literally the same characters, the same place, the same event at the end of the first short story is happening in the beginning of the second short story. Second short story. So it looks like it's going to be connected. Um, so this is going to be a little bit <laughs> different um, reviewing this because since there's so many, there's going to be so many nuances in that regard. Um, I'm going to have to talk about this. Now, the second short story, does it work by itself in my opinion? I don't think so. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to see because it's going to be a challenge like I mentioned. Uh, reviewing this also individually and then as a collective and then as a story because it looks like it's gonna be like one long short story um and i'm not gonna lie it is one of those things where an author has to very like plan it out because it has to work in all of those three ways all right i finished the next two short stories the first one was called zombies and the second one was called the genius um these are really good like really good i'm i'm really enjoying them so the first one zombies this is again this continues um basically the same character same same everything this one is actually like as a short story alone this is actually really fun um this is about chris and um a uh a person who owns basically like a like a funeral home um and basically it's about zombies and like how people so yeah there's a dead body involved um this was a such a fun story i i enjoyed like reading it and then the next one is called um G the genius this one is actually really good too and again it involves um chris again he's gonna be the main character i can see that now uh and we're basically following him as he view his um world around him um the genius is really good because it's one of those short stories where from the beginning to the end there's a there's like a a, a beginning and end and a middle um but the ending like i really want to know what happens because it's one of those things where like a short story ends but it's like i want i want more and that's that's what i'm really enjoying um is that each short story so far like well it's only four but they are, they can stand on their own and each one like especially um especially with this with the genius i'm really like i want more so i'm really enjoying that the genius is also when i'm starting to realize like uh, the dialogue is really good the dialogue feel really natural all right so i read the next two short stories the first one is called sick transit gloria so this one i had to look up what that meant um but from according to wikipedia it says something about well actually google it says something about like thus passes the glory thus passes the glory of the world but the translation i don't know um yeah i don't know exactly what it means i have to look more into it but that is really interesting this short story is incredible i think this is my favorite out of the ones i've read so far from this collection and i think it's the best one um this is about gloria who is um roderick who was the genius in the previous short story um and one thing about this that it is devastatingly sad especially finding out what happens in the previous short story and you get the conclusion of what really happened um yeah it's really sad i think as a short story alone this story works so much by itself alone just period alone um i really really like it like I was like, oh, this is uh, really, really good. Um, yeah, I love this. And then there's this theme about, in this one, um, Gloria is really questioning about good and evil, uh, which which is funny because I'm, 
I'm reading the brothers cameras off and I've reached the part where they're talking about good and evil and I just thought it was like a really great like feels philosophical view of how she looks at good and evil i thought i was like whoa this is really really good it's my favorite like i i really enjoyed it um the next one is called drunk on history um this one i thought was pretty okay um, this is about um crips the dad pristine's husband so yeah uh, so the dad of the family um and about him as a um, artist this actually is interesting in the sense that the writing style is really different because it has this like very short staccato fast movement to it um which i did enjoy but overall i think as as a short story i think it's just okay um this is one of those short stories where with the knowledge of the previous stories it works but as a standalone in my opinion it doesn't it, it doesn't have the impact especially coming back coming exactly right after um the previous short story so i finished the next two short stories the first one is called the boy on the couch this was actually uh really interesting um because this is the most scariest one out of the bunch so far um actually i was reading this last night and it was raining so and it was thundering so like it created that ambiance and then all of a sudden bullet like it was it was getting creepy because of this ghost um that they see and then all of a sudden bullet made this noise and it like scared the bejeebies out of me like i was so scared so this one is so memorable in that regard um but i want to talk about the next one which is a taste of honey so this is the title of the collection um and in my opinion i don't think this is the best um and it's it's not my favorite so far because it's still the sixth um, transit Gloria but this is really interesting because this is one of those instances where since these are all connected a taste of honey gets a well without spoiling anything one of the stories gets a whole different meaning like it means something really different which again these short story connections um the connected short stories it's it's getting tricky in my opinion because if I were to read A Taste of Honey, just this, that story by itself alone, um, I think it's too wordy. It's too much back info. Um, and I'm noticing that with a lot of the short stories is that there's too much of a reliance on the back info. And while it's great for me, because I'm reading this like all in one go, essentially, um, as I, I need short story, I, me, expect, I don't know if it's an expectations or a what, but short story should be able to stand on its own um and yes back references are nice but i think it should be able to stand on its own. my favorite part about this story is um the descriptions because this has like uh it's kind of like um they're about to have some fun times and i just really like the way it's described it's very sensual very sexy very just alluring i like i like the way it's like really nice so yeah i did like that i finished the next two short story called the wheat from the tears and planning the perfect evening um i'm kind of glad i'm reading these in like bundles almost because a lot of these are bundled together essentially if that makes any sense so this these two connect because they involve mainly two main characters which is rose and paul um they're the next door neighbors of the jones family so yeah, this one does deal with domestic abuse, um, especially uh, the weed from the tears. Planning from the e per planning the perfect evening um, has kind of like a twist because it relates back to the previous short story, but then there's something happened. Uh, so far, so so far, I'm really enjoying the stories. Um, again, as short stories, it's a little bit iffy for me right now, but connected wise, I think they're just really great um especially the wheat from the tears because there's like the surprise was really great over halfway through the book that i'm really like realizing and i noticed that i really like it when authors do this in general and they do it well um it's when they they write in a in forms of lists like they um they just start listing stuff like it's I just really enjoy it for some reason and i don't know why it is because it creates this like rhythm to it that i really like that the writing can provide. So I finished the next two short stories, which was Lives of the Artists and Doo Wop. Um, this basically deals with um, the, some characters dealing with the cops. Uh, this one, these, both of these I thought were okay. Um, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna go to 
coffee shop and just like binge read the rest of the short stories and i say this because um and i'll explain it to more at the end uh but all of these are really starting to kind of connect and for me personally um it's starting to feel more of like one cohesive like long form novel um instead of short stories uh and so it's a little bit of a mm, for me uh, but i'll let y'all know my final thoughts when i get to uh, when i finish it hey y'all it's michael all right so i read the last um six stories which include a virtuous woman ashes to ashes grand opening day work burning desires and to tahitian yeah, Tahitian treat. Wow, what a tongue twister. So I took notes as I was at the coffee shop the other day. Um, so let's talk about this. Uh, let's talk about um, A Virtuous Woman. This is basically about Rose and Gabriel, another of the characters. The next one is um, Ashes to Ashes. This, I think, was really great. Like, I think out of the six bunches that I read at the coffee shop for this, this was my favorite. This is a flashback about uh, a, the stories involving the cops. Um like the backstory and I thought this was done this is what I think like like out of the, the short stories this is one of the shining examples of like a story that can literally stand on its own and also really add context um, and background to the other stories so I thought this was really great I love the theme the theme about it um everything about it I thought was like really good it was suspenseful it was like action-packed I was like it was really good I, I really like that one um the next one is called grand opening this is about a um, an opening of a pool which relates to the previous short stories um, and this is basically just a gathering of characters I thought this was okay like uh, nothing really special about it the last three um, really connects uh, it's called day work burning desires and Tahitian treat uh, this starts off with um, Martin Luther King Jr's um, death and how the essentially the city perceives it um, without giving too much away so all right, so I thought I would give you my overall thoughts. I think my main issue with this collection is um, the cohesiveness of it all, which makes no sense at all if you're thinking about it. There are too many stories in here that rely too much on the previous back end. Um, and while I, I actually really enjoy when short story collections like all connect, but I think in this instance, I don't think the separate short stories individually can stand on its own to co cohesively yes i i think it's great cohesively everything works um but for me the barrier is that when you describe something as a short story like the library consider considers it a short stories the the book itself says stories um i think by itself it doesn't stand as strong but cohesively oh my gosh it works um because i really enjoyed the overallness of it i love thematically i think that's where it also works like theme wise I think it really works especially looking into this town um and like not only like the race issues going on but the political like the political underlining and then how the history of the people like this history of their backgrounds the history of like all these experiences throughout their lives really shape the town and that I really like the main character of this I would have to say is um Crispus Chris I really like him as a character I think he he's basically the center of it and then everything branches out um his whole family is just like really interesting again this is like where it's a double-edged sword right that the cohesiveness of it is great because as you keep reading on you like stories will change depending on how you pers read the next story like the next story can change how you perceive the last story if, if you saw like me working it out this one's in this in my opinion are um the sick transit gloria and uh ashes to ashes i think those are my favorite out of all of these um and I think the boy on the couch is really fun just because like the ghost story elements of it has to be able to stand on its own without no back context. Um, and I, I feel like as though a lot of these um, don't get uh, don't get that like grand opening. If I were to read this just without no context at all, it'd be a little bit confusing um, because the way that the names are used, like you, like who is this person? Like who is that? Um, so I think that would be a little bit confusing. Even some of these actually I think would be a little bit. Um, confusing but overall I, I did enjoy it um I love these type of stories especially learning about um like a small town and the people within that town um thematically I think this works really great like I mentioned um, I would be really interested to read more of a seems work to see what else what else the 
what else um, they'll be able to do. So yes, if you read any of this short, if you read this collection or any of the short stories in it, uh, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Until then, I'll see you guys till next time. Bye. The next short story collection that I'm going to be reading is Meet Me in the Future by Cameron Harley. Bye.